Well, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. I just stepped in a lot of snow, and this is the outdoors. I love being so cheesy with it, it's so much fun. Anyways, lake trout fishing, highly requested. Beautiful day, gonna fish outside today for the most part. Actually, no, probably the whole day, what am I talking about? And uh, see what we can put on the, the ice, see what we can accomplish. It's gorgeous out, like absolutely beautiful. Plus two, plus three. It's supposed to be a little bit windy, but it should still be, should still be good. I'm gonna get a hole popped right here and get to fishing. I saw a mark there flash in. So I'm trying to get down as quick as I can here. Just start with the Dragon Slayer. Need to turn this so I can see. Oh, there's a mark right there. Look at it. it's coming up. It's coming up. Are you kidding me? It's a mark right here. Check my drag. Oh, drag's way too loose. Oh, I hit it already. Jeez. I just dropped down. I just dropped down. Okay, let's try this. Let's try the new Tantrum 100 size rattle bait. Pretty excited for this thing. Got marked down there. Fish is interested, it's following me around. Oh, got him, got him. Nice. First fish on the rattle bait. First fish of the trip, first fish of the day. It feels really small. What do I have? Like it feels tiny. I think I caught the smallest lake trout in the lake, I'm guessing. I'm guessing does not feel big at all. It is tiny. Well, I guess that's why some of those fish were not very aggressive and it's gone. That's okay. I don't want to deal with it anyway. That fish was small, but I did catch one on the new rattle bait. That's the Tantrum 100. It's big. Like, look at the size of my palm of my hand. Pretty big. I like it. I like it. That was a small lake trout. Small one, tiny one. Okay, well, we got one. We got one. I could have grabbed another hole if I wanted to, but why get myself soaked right now? Why get myself soaked if I don't have to? I think I like about the striker suit the most and wearing the climate suit is it has that insulated layer that you can take out of it. So I took my insulated layer out of my bibs today. And then this is the insulated layer from the jacket, the climate jacket. So I can just slide it over top when I move from spot to spot on my snowmobile and I can fish comfortable. I, I really like this setup. Climate suit is probably my favorite suit now. I would say hard water used to be. I still like the hard water suit, especially on those extreme cold days. But, and not to say that the climate suit isn't well rounded for the cold days either with that insulated stuff. I just, I don't know why I still just like the hard water suit in that sense. But if I can only have one suit, it would be the, the climate suit for sure so versatile in the sense you can use it without the insulated layer or with the insulated layer and it's actually a really nice jacket that comes with it okay let's try a bigger profile bait and see what happens here Ooh. what do we got here this marks jc got him oh oh no 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 better mark too come on come back oh come back come back no a little bit better mark Oh, just didn't hook up. That was a good mark, or a better mark anyway. I'm gonna put my measuring board on the other side. Be easier to deal with it if I have to. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Got him, they like that. They like that, I'm pounding the bottom with it, it's small. It's small, but he liked it when I was pounding the bottom. That's awesome. I was jigging above that mark for a long time and it wouldn't eat and I dropped it past him. And uh, wow, it's really small. <laughs> That's tiny. 
this is a this is a J semen size fish right there for sure. Look at that. But I was pounding the bottom with that bait. Look at the big profile. I'll talk about it here. I put a Dragon Slayer connected to a tube jig here, and I did that. Uh, some somebody told me about it. I'll I'll talk about it here right away. But there we go, little guy. Like I said, J J semen size fish. Um, you just gotta go down. You just gotta go down. There you go. So like I said, I'll hang in here so you can see it good. I put a Dragon Slayer and a Tube Jig right there. So it's Dragon Slayer from Frostbite, Tube Jig, two ounce head. I like it's got a little bit extra bulk, a little bit extra length, just something a little bit different. I didn't, I didn't come up with that idea. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Mac Mulligan, who guides up at Baker's Narrows, I, I message with him quite frequently about lake trout and we talk and whatnot and share stories and share ideas and theories and stuff like that. And he's like, have you tried putting the Dragon Slayer inside of a tube, tube yet? And I'm like, no, I haven't. So he's like, you gotta try it. It looks awesome. He goes, and it works too. And as soon as I put it in, it like, right away I was like, yeah, that looks really, really good. So pretty cool little combination for sure. <laughs> and chartreuse <laughs> so good it's really funny though with that fish even though it was small it wouldn't eat it above it i took it and i just started pounding it down in the bottom in the mud just snapped it snap jigging out of the mud and came over and ate it out of the mud so that's a good sign Ooh, there's a fish chasing me down here it's a mark here at 30 feet Come on, come on, buddy, come on. Oh, here it comes, charging straight up. Look at that, oh, come on, get ready for a big hook set. The thing was just charging. Oh, God, oh, bumped it, it bumped it, it bumped it, it bumped it. There's another one below it too coming. There's one below it coming too, come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Gotta stay on these fish. Gotta stay on these fish. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I don't think it's very big. I don't think it's very big. I really don't. No, it's little. It's little. It's little, but that's okay. It's okay. Oh, he just hammered that. Hammered that jig. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Easy. Look at that. He just hammered that, that uh, tube jig. Gone. Little guys so far. Little guys. Okay. Back down you go, my friend. Well, that was exciting. That was exciting. Love when they chase like that. So, so fun. Well, I've got three, three trout so far. All relatively small. I'm sitting in on like a 52 foot flat here basically there's like some deeper water off behind me and then in front of me it kind of goes to uh, a little bit of a shell or a shallower shelf even so I just picked like kind of like the widest gap for the most part like uh, in terms of like where your contour lines are like really really tight and then I picked one that was like a little bit further uh, width in terms of like a bigger feeding area I, I like to fish a lot of flats for lake trout mostly for the fact that i can mark my jig for the whole time sharp drop offs can work great too but unless you have like live scope or the mega live which is coming out soon you're gonna have dead zones so i just like to fish the big flats like that or areas like i said that are a little bit wider i've had some the most success with those bigger flats too in terms of catching catching good fish in general I'm using the new slugger from frostbite it's a 46 inch extra heavy it's it feels like a pool cue when you first pick it up but it's made for the bigger baits this two ounce tube jig you can use it on the mr big but this is definitely just a little bit better so i'm basically going like with all my baits that are going to be two inches two ounces or bigger i'm going to run with the slugger and anything that's going to be smaller i'm going to run with the mr big it, just like walleye i have like a couple different rods that you have for different lures and you match your lures to your rod I'm happy now that I have two different rods from Frostbite that I can fish with that kind of matches the, the presentation that I want to fish with for that day or switch up. Like I got spoons with me here on the 
in the sled or on a couple rods too i can easily switch and probably catch a bunch of these little fish but right now it's still even the smaller ones are biting the the bigger bait so we're going to stay with it right now for the most part i think this rest of this year i'm going to fish mostly bigger baits but at times we're going to fool around with some smaller spoons as well i just like having a large variety a variety pack i like i like the old variety pack it's awesome fun day even though they're small there's something about just like fishing outside like i'm fishing without gloves it's so beautiful gotta take advantage of it when you can it's gorgeous oh some mark right there's dropping down at 42 feet oh actually it ate it it ate it ah the smaller fish sometimes are a lot harder to hook up on i got it again oh come on buddy come on laying it to him you want to lay it to a lake trout as much as you can and then as it starts to turn around you can loosen your drag a bit i'll let it pull me down keep good tension and then go get your transducer this one's a little bit better but not not what we're after yet though that's for sure not what we're after yet i know as soon as i'll be able to see my leader line here i know that i'm close i'm at my end of my leader i know not to go crazy at the end of the hole here and kind of just work them up nice and easy yeah wow for a small guy like that you sure put up a tussle my friend let's see this way dark fish right now well just another nice specimen nothing big probably like 25 inches type of thing but dark beautiful fish see you buddy is that rod too much for that fish oh for sure it is but you always want to like match your rod to what you're using i'm not even talking about the fish that i'm fishing for in size i'm talking about size of baits like that's that fish isn't my target species if i was if i was targeting small just smaller lake trout or action laker i i would not use this rod but i would also not have a tube jig on either but i know i'm in an area that has some big fish and that's what we're fishing for so i'm going to use the big rod i'm going to use the tube jig and we're going to get ourselves a big mom at some point I plan on fishing a couple of spots today. If I keep catching fish nonstop, I might not move at all. I might just stay right here. But there's a couple areas I'd like to check out today yet because it's so nice out. I like to take advantage of the nice weather if you can and move around a little bit. And I've got my ca cameras to a minimal right now, just my big camera, my head camera, and then my flasher camera. Days where I have to fish inside all day, I'll get a couple more angles going, but when you're outside and there's a possibly want to move, I'm keeping stuff just a little bit smaller, a little bit easier. Got another mark chasing me. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Look at this. Marks are like everywhere. Oh, he bumped it. Little guys. Little guys are the hardest ones to catch all the time. All the time. Wow. <laughs> but that fish was pretty aggressive. He hit it a few times. Oh, baby. I get down to my transducer. I got my drag locked for that hook set. Not that he's that big right now. I could easily lose him. And honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. I know a bigger one is going to go on a run and give me ample time to get the transducer out like easily easily i don't really like i said i don't care if i lose this one at the bottom of the hole or anything like that another another smaller laker cookie cutter size easy 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 well dark fish just all all small for the most part or smaller anyway almost dropped them there you go buddy see ya Ooh, bad hook set he ate it as i was jigging it so there's a good chance i lose this fish again it's not big but ah oh, that was a horrible hook set i guarantee right now he's just got the jig and he's gonna drop this at any moment unless i somehow somehow got the hook through him but uh, i guess guess i did small guy again small guy again little guy he's trying to flop out of me little guy again i'm gonna get him back quick because he is doing floppy thingies and uh, I don't know, I might move spots here in a little bit and try to find some bigger ones because everything right now here is all just smaller action. And not that a big one won't cruise through here at some point. A lot of times though, these trout, oh hi. 
lot of times these trout will conjugate in terms of size and area so there's a lot of small ones around here right now that's for sure it's chasing me all the way down oh but it ate it on the way down it ate it on the fall it ate it when it was falling a little bit better there's a better one still not big or giant but a little bit better Oof. oh yeah oh yeah okay no that's definitely a better fish definitely better fish just as i said too <laughs> that i was thinking of moving this one's got some weight i'm gonna try to get to my transducer here yeah a little bit better fish a little bit better fish wow that was awesome Ooh, i don't like when they do that come on baby drag super tight oh yeah okay <laughs> these rods definitely are good they, they bend way into the blank, which is what you want when fighting a big lake trout. Is this a big lake trout? It's not a small lake trout. It's not what I was just catching. Oof, man. But it's not a, a I don't think it's a tank. Don't think it's a tank. It's nice though. It's nice. Oh, wow. I just love that, like that initial like hookup and that run. You can't beat lake trout. You just can't. Leader, my leader's here, so he'll be close. Going easy at the bottom of the hole. I don't know size. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Easy, easy. That's a nice fish. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I'm hooked to my transducer. Or my... Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I underestimated that fish a little bit. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one right there. Oh, it's throwing my rod. Okay, that fish threw me around a little bit. I got the hook out, give it a quick drink. Easy, and show it up. That's a nice one. Beautiful fish, awesome. What a way to start my day. I guess not my day, I've caught a bunch of small ones already. That is a beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Let's get a quick measurement on it. Quick measurement, phone in the snow. Quick measurement, we'll be super quick with you, buddy. Super quick, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Right on. Oh, Chikai, Chikai, Chikai. 37. 37 inch lake trout right there, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Okay, okay, we'll put you back in. We'll put you back in. Wow. Oh, my hands are cold now. My hands are cold. Unbelievable. I did underestimate that fish a little bit. That was a good, that was a good lake trout. Wow. Insane. Insane, insane, insane. Small, 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 all of a sudden, boom, bigger. I'm very happy with this rod. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried when I first, when I first got it, I'm like, geez, it seems like a pool cue. It's heavy. And Aaron's like, just, it's like you're Mr. Big, just trust it, just trust it. And it bends down into the blank, so nice. Awesome, awesome. On that Dragon Slayer with the tube jig, that Mac told me about. Thanks, Mac. It works. Look at the extra length in there. I like that. I like that. That is a, a really deadly combination. The fish have liked it aggressively moved. Like, I'll have to watch the footage. I can't remember how that all happened. I think it ate it off the bottom. Oh, a fish got coming up again. I mean, another mark coming here. Wow. You know how sometimes it's like, Lake Trail bite windows come and go. Like right now, I'm on one of those bite windows, obviously. I got out here, obviously, just at the right time, and things are happening. Things are happening. I've seen it lots where bite windows will be hot for a few hours and like dead for, for several hours. Sometimes even days it can be dead for. It's all about hitting those peak bite windows and being out there at the, the, right, oppor the right moment, the right opportunity. A little bit of luck comes into play for sure. Awesome. Saw a fish chasing me. Come on, here it comes, come on. Got him! <laughs> I don't think it's very big. He chased it right up off the bottom. Lake trout, you can do that. You can jig down low and then basically just start to reel up really slow. And I think with that dragon slayer on there, it actually adds a nice little paddle tail at the end of that tube jig. Little guy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Easy, easy, easy. Fish has a lot of energy. Yeah, not not big, not crazy small either though. 
he'd be a little bit big to keep about 27 28 inches type of thing well 27 i'd give him 26 and a half 27 nice fish oh fish down there at 48 feet drop down as i clear my hole Like the last fish, like I said, I like to, sometimes I just like to kind of bounce the bottom a bit, like three, four times, even more, or whatever, just jig it. One, two, three, snap jigs on the bottom. Let it sit there on the bottom for a second. Four, five, I got a fish cruising around me there. Six, seven, like I said, you go as many as you want really, and then just do a slow retrieve up. And sometimes that'll, the trout will start to look up and be like, ooh, that thing's getting away, and they'll chase it, and they'll, they'll crush it usually when they're hitting it in that sense. Oh, he come up behind it, but he didn't hit it. He did chase it up a bit, I think. Yeah, he's right there. He's, at, he's looking at it. There's a couple smaller ones, it looks like. So back down, and then it's repeated over again. Oh, right there, look at that fish come up. Oh, what is going on? I think he grabbed it. He grabbed it as it was falling. <laughs> on the fall. Wow, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Unbelievable. That fish came out of nowhere and grabbed it as it was falling down. I can't tell size yet. It's at 24 feet and I'm fighting him. It's decent. Like, it's decent. It's got some weight. Not giant, but definitely got some weight. Oh, baby. Come on. I want to lean over and get my transducer here right away. I'm going to back my drag off just a bit. Try to keep that full tension. I know a lot of people are like, just drill another hole for your transducer. But when you plan on moving around lots, it's a lot of holes to drill if you're gonna drill another one for your transducer. I didn't know how long I was gonna be here. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? I mean, he's at the bottom of the hole somewhere. Here's my leader. Nice, 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 nice. Like I said, not a giant, but oh, look at that. Look at that bait, holy cow. This is insane. <laughs> well, you guys are gluttons. And there goes to show you right here that you can't have too big of a meal. This is a digested white fish. Look at that. Digested white fish. It smells, but that's all that's half of its body size there. Insane. Insane. Nice fish. Probably about a 33 inch or something like that. And get him back in quick. Wow. What a day. What a day. Honestly, this was this was awesome. It's more than I could ask for today. Great day fishing. Caught a bunch of trout. We caught uh, one nice one, a 37 incher, and then we caught that one like 33, 34 incher. Ah, yeah, 33, 34, something like that. Beautiful fish, Dragon Slayer, using the 46 inch heavy um, by Frostbite. It's called the Slugger. And I got it paired with a 3,000 size reel, 30 pound braid, 25 pound fluorocarbon meter. And yeah, I think I've gone through most of the gear for the most part, but a few little techniques pick up. Remember, like I talked about, I'm on a 54 foot shelf here and then drops off into deep water. It goes kind of like this. I got 54 foot shelf, deep water, and then up here I got like a little bit of a hump. So I'm kind of in like what's like a little bit of a shelf here between the, the two. There's a steeper break here and there's a steeper break here, but I'm kind of on this a little bit of a shelf. So spend some time with your auto charting in the summertime. It is a great tool and then use that to set up in the winter. Awesome day, awesome start to Lake Trout Trip. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, get outside.